What's up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> today's episode of General Hospital was great. I loved it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. It was great today. Um, let me say this before I get into this video. On yesterday's video, some things that I said people took out of context, but I said it made a big deal out of everything that I said, which it didn't. I didn't mean it the way people took it. When I said RC, all I meant was was that some characters are acting differently and not normal than what they normally act like. That's all I'm saying. Is some some of it is for the bad, some of it may be for the you know, I like and a lot of it I don't. That's all I'm saying. Storyline purposes. The only storyline I don't like is the Maxi going to prison storyline because it's boring. RC is actually, I must say, is doing a pretty bang up job at, you know, writing these stories. I actually say that because I enjoy it. It's fun to watch. Um, but I just don't like when people take what I say out of context. You got to really listen to what I'm saying. And you'll understand what I'm saying. Like I said before, some things I say you might not agree with, some things you might agree with. That's all cool. <clears throat> but I do like the direction that the show is going in. But and and as far as I'm concerned with the John McBain situation, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting into the video right now because I seen a lot of golden scenes today. A lot of scenes today were gold, and one of them being the Jason and John McBain scene. <clears throat> McBain is trying to take down Sonny, I get that. But mind you, Sonny and Todd are a lot alike. Sonny Corinthos and Todd Manning are a lot alike. And here's the thing. Notice how every time in Landview something bad happened. Who was the first person John was at who was the first person John locked up? Todd Manning. He he pretty much had a grudge with Todd. Well Victor Lord Jr., formerly known as Todd Manning. He pretty much had a grudge with him. Remember in 2009, three years ago, the KAD killer. Remember when Blair got stabbed and all that and Todd was the first person to get arrested? They practically blamed the whole thing on Todd at first until they found out it was Paul Lord. Same thing with Sonny. Every time Sonny go down, Sonny's the first one to get blamed. See, Jason, of course, always going to have reasonable doubt because every time something do go down, they always prove that it wasn't Sonny's fault. Remember when he shot Johnny two years ago in 2010? He shot Johnny. That was self-defense. People tried to say it was murder because Ronnie Domestico took the gun. <clears throat> but it was Johnny, it was Jason and Dante that found the proof that Sonny was telling the truth. So when Sonny said he didn't do things, majority of the time he didn't do it. So I'm like, believe him. And McBain <clears throat> talking about some Sonny, I guess whatever he did was so messy or whatever but I'm like okay it was like what 20 years ago if there was any evidence you would have locked him up by now obviously you got Jack where where is there evidence from 20 years ago how are you supposed to find evidence from 20 years ago that's impossible well not really but ain't there a statute of limitation on stuff like that anyway but well murder of course I don't think has a statute of limitation but um Sonny, in my opinion, is a lot like Todd, like I said. And John McBain, if he do plan on sticking around Landview probably for a year or so, which I doubt because of Liam and Natalie and stuff like that, he's not going to get anything on Sonny. A lot of people keep saying, oh, they want him to take down the Corinthos organization, blah, 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 blah. But mind you, if Sonny go, people don't realize something. You may hate on Sonny or whatever, but people got to realize something. If Sonny goes, rest assured that you may see the downfall of this show, which means it will probably be canceled. I'm just saying. Sonny, Carly, Jason practically makes this show what it is. They make it. They're the main characters of this show. It wouldn't be the same without them. It'd be a big gap without even without one of them. It'd be a big gap because they made this show. So I'm like, you know. It is what it is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Maurice Bernard fan. He's a great actor, and I would hate to see him go. He, trust me, he's gonna be on this show for a long time. 
um, McBain, it's like the saga continues with him. It's like McBain versus Todd Manning all over again. The only difference is it's against Sunny this time. Um, so what's up with this Franco situation? Like, why did, I mean, who got the dirt on Jason that he killed Franco after all this time? They're just now coming at Jason, arresting him for what happened to Franco, for the murder of Franco. My, I think John McBain might have something to do with that. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing he did. But, um, anyway, the Sam, uh, the Sam Molly and Alexis scenes was great. I'm glad Alexis finally knows the truth. It's about time. Um, I'm glad Alexis, you know, was there for her and stuff like that. And Molly, of course, it was, it was great to see the Davis girls again. Um, Michael, I think him is star. I'm I'm starting to kind of change my opinion about star. If she change a little bit from her whininess, I would really like her to be with Michael. It'd be cool to see them two together. But um, I don't know. The, the jury is still out on that. Uh, Heather Weber, my God, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life when she tried to shake. Anthony's hand that was too funny <laughs> yesterday uh, yeah, when she tried to shake his hand that was just too funny Ugh. but I just cannot stand Heather Weber I know some people might be a fan of her I'm a fan of the actress like the actress she she yo she's dope she 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 hits like she plays crazy so well you would think that she was crazy in real life <laughs> she's convincing um great actress she plays it well uh, but I was like, if Mon I'm glad Monica and Tracy showed some unity today. That was great that they showed some unity. Finally, instead of arguing, they finally showed some damn unity. But who the hell, who the hell does Heather Weber think she is? Just because Jason Franco and his new baby is family, she think that she's entitled to some quarter main money, or she can come and go in a quarter main mansion as she please. You ain't got no legal rights to nothing. You're, yeah, like you said, you're a cousin. Cousins don't have legal rights to anything. She's not a quarter man. So, I'm like, I was hoping Tracy would have kicked that bitch ass. Oh, I meant to say this yesterday, um, but I forgot to say it about the Sam and Heather scene. When Sam was like, if I wasn't pregnant, I would kick your ass. That's the Sam that I love. Badass Sam. That's the Sam I love. I, I like seriously today I wanted to jump through the screen and punch Jason in the face I'm like why would you not want to go to the birthing class with her and Sam made up you know she brought up some great points today about how Monica took him in and loved him as her own even though it's a constant reminder of Alan's infidelity and I'm glad that you know they made some valid points when Monica was talking to him yesterday and when Sam was talking to him today they made some very valid points and it's time for Jason to try to love this baby at least show some try you know at least try you know what I mean at least try um Christina I'm not really going to comment on a new actress but I'm, I am going to say this I'm glad that the character is back um, I heard that she's going to spice some things up this summer. According to Soaps and Death, she's going to spice it up this summer with Sunny and Alexis. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm not going to pass judgment on the actress that plays her, but it took me some time in 2009 to get used to Lexi being the new Christina. So it took me a little, you know, a couple months, about a month or two to get used to her. But it's probably going to take me a little longer to get used to this new actress that's playing her. So give me a little time if I don't like her right off the bat. Um, here's the rumor mill. Somebody new is coming to Port Charles. I don't know his name. I don't know what character he's playing. All I know is that he's the son of a former character on General Hospital. And word is he may be a friend or foe. To Sonny Grindles this summer. I'm. I, that's all I know. That's all I'm commenting about. Cause I don't know. You can go to soaksanddeath.com or whatever to read about it. But they didn't give a name or what character he's playing. But apparently he's coming in this summer. So 
look out for that. Something explosive may happen. Um. Anyway, if people think that I'm bashing John McBain, trust me, I'm not. Because he was like the badass cop that I've ever seen in Landview. He was the baddest cop I've ever seen in Landview. Solved damn near every case. Every case. Um. But as far as him joining the PCPD, the reason why I'm not liking John McBain on General Hospital because I got to get used to him being on General Hospital. I'm used to him being in Landview. So him working with the PCPD and if they hire Anna to be the new commissioner plus Dante on the squad, Sonny and Jason, I have a major problem. I mean major. So I'm hoping it don't come down to that, but. Mind you, he's still working with the LPD, so. Um, anyway, today's episode was great. RC, you get a clap for it. Um, just stop changing my damn characters around, messing with the history, man. Don't do that. I'll see everybody Monday. Hope everybody have a great weekend. See you all Monday. I'm out.